Hello. Hello guys, this is Mr. Suitcase along with Obsidian My Hino 13 and the Cobra videos. And we're gonna begin a logo review in series. Where we review a separate logo and then I rank it uh, but on a 1 out of 10 scale. 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. Okay. So today's logo we're gonna be looking at is a unique logo from from Iceland. Yes. Maybe for first Icelandic logo we're gonna review. Yeah. It. Yeah. And th and the company we're gonna talk about is RUV. Yeah. RUV yeah. or. Oh, wiki set. Let me check Google Translate. Was to Icelandic. Sorry if I'm getting help from the World Wide Web. So what's it pronounced again? Riki Supatvis. Riki It's English yeah. for the Icelandic National Broadcasting Service. And yes. it and it's Iceland's mm -hmm. national public service broadcasting organi organization, but we're gonna talk about one mm -hmm. particular logo from Fairs, and it was in used from from 1986 to the early 1990s. Yeah, yeah. And its logo description, according to the CLG wiki, is we see the logo for the network at the time. Blue curves folding inward, eventually forming a circle as they move further out, zooming on a sky background, moving from the top right and then to the left center. Once the logo centers in, the logo becomes 3D and rotates toward the screen and then back to the center again. An image of a country, Iceland, swoops by, with the for world. Wait. Okay, that means help from, from Google Translate again. Mm -hmm. Sean Fashbed in blue, medium weight font with the J hanging slightly below the other letters. Iceland then moves to the top opening the logo and multiple images showcasing the country scenery fly in various directions, some of them rotating as they do so. The logo then zooms in again in the same fashion as before with a 3D animation, I mean transformation and rotation. The strong far pit text screen area flips in again. And there is a variant to this logo too. Prior to 1989, this logo was in space and Iceland was the elf. Isn't that something? So let's play back the audio. Yes, this logo is pretty long, so some people might find it boring. Okay, okay. For, for the effects, generally low budget logo presentation with some higher quality elements, mainly, mainly computer generated animation or CTI. Yes. The music slash sounds are flourished to start, followed by a saturated 80s synth bass theme with drums and orchestral instruments. And it was seen on that network at the time, just to let you know. 
Yeah. Yeah. The Cobra videos. What is your thoughts on Iceland scenery? Iceland scenery. Um, ice. Iceland has is naturally beautiful in my opinion. It's like lots of lakes. You know, like in. But there's like many mountains and volcanoes. It seems like it's like a relaxing place. A place to go and do relax yourself. Something like that. Yeah. So it's like Sean and like, um, you know, like on the Daily Dust of Vienna, he like showed some like um, videos of um, Iceland and the way it's keep going on shore. Yep. What about your what yes. about what about your thoughts on it, Obsidian Mino Thirteen? I think it's good. And it's a logo. It's is an imagery from Ireland. Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And the landscape is good. Yep, it is pretty beautiful. At least yeah. it's better than Greenland. Yeah, Greenland is just like most of it's just snow. <laughs> yeah. So what would yeah. what and mountains? So I apologize for being off topic. Logo before. But what what would happen if there was a volcano eruption that that happened about two days ago in Iceland? It was. Um, it will be on the. It was what? Yep. It it is the the volcano's name is. Okay, I need help from Google Translate again. I haven't heard of the. Fuck that's fuck. Oh no! Hang on. Fuck that's fuck. And it's a sheer volcano in Tuya, with provinces located on the Red Trans Peninsula, around forty kilometers away from Reykjavik. Yeah. So I have respect for 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 those who died in the the eruption. I pray for you, Icelanders. Me too. The capital, yeah, the, ca the capital and the largest city of Iceland is Reykjavik. It, it, yeah, I only knew that. And it's yeah. home to over two thirds of a population. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. What else do you know? Really happy. It's raining pretty heavily outside right now for me. Uh, it's clear in my area right now. Now let's get back to the subject. So, yeah, so okay. th from what I remember, the when the la the last scale factor for this logo was none. So yeah, I don't. I didn't. Yeah, it's not that. It's not scary at all. Yep. Uh, and if it if it if it was on the verge. Verdict will obviously obviously not be on. Will obviously be on the not scary. Not scary. Verdict. Yeah. Uh, oh. Also, what what do you guys overall think of that logo you just saw? Yeah, it's, it's pretty good for at the time. The uh, CGI isn't the best because it's Iceland. They didn't have like a very as high of a budget as it had like. It's around the countries like the UK, US, Canada, blah blah blah. What about your? Uh, yeah, it, yeah, it has pretty good music too. What about your opinion on it, Obsidian Minor Thirteen? I think it's good. The CGI wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah. The music is good, and the imagery of Iceland is really beautiful. So, so. Obsidian Minor 13, I'm giving you the job to do the verdict. Uh, uh, between a 1 to 10 scale, with 10 being the best and 1 being the worst. What would I you give it what, What's your eight. verdict? What about yours, the Cobra? Um, I'll, I'd say 9. It, the logo is good in general, but the length may um, make people bored, so make some people bored, so they'll. I'll have to give it a nine, but overall, it's just a—it's a great, it's a good logo. 
So overall, we're gonna rank this logo a 9 out of 10. Yeah, yes. Also, here's some more, here's some history about Iceland. Hang on. Yep. Iceland is the 18th largest island in the world. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Y you know what Vikings are? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Th they were from Scandinavia. And Iceland was in Scandinavia. Yes. It's just, it's just sort of separate island. It's just separated from the... There was, yeah. a good, there, was a, there was a good amount of volcanic activity in Iceland, just to let you know. Yeah, yeah it's, it's known for its volcanoes too. During the months of June and July, Iceland has days with 24 hours of sunlight. Yeah, yes. <laughs> only in the summer. Yep, only in the summer. And... Mm. Uh, and that, and that's all, and that's all, and that's all for this week, so we'll see you in the next episode. Yep, yeah, see you guys. See ya.